Hello my friends, welcome again. So here I am in our application as a login as a John Doe. And I have opened in the VS Code as well. So in this video I'm going to add the uh, sidebar menu and header. So we are going to add this one. And for that I have searched and find the, the, this in the start bootstrap.com I find this one is uh, very popular so click here and click in the view source code okay and here I'm going to open the index HTML and open as a row and copy all of that and come here now inside the resources layouts i'm going to create new layout uh, mine dot blade dot php and here pass this one okay and now i want to So here we have the remove this one. So we have the admin.css and we have the custom style for the template and then custom fonts. Okay. So the font on my son is going, I'm going to add from the CDN so font has some CDN here just uh, copy this one and add it here okay mm. save and now if I go to the uh, home here I'm going to change this to the mine layout so I'm going to tell in the home to run in the in this mine layout so come here and if I refresh yeah we have the this kind of dashboard okay so we need to add the admin CSS here sp dash admin dash two dash CSS. So here we have the minified version. Uh, copy this one here, and I'm going to create new. CSS in the CSS folder and admin dot main dot CSS and pass it here save and now here no here here in the mine I'm going to add that one so Asset, asset, and add this one here. Save. If I refresh now, yeah, you see, we have this, but we don't have the drop down because we need, we need the JS files. And we need uh, jQuery and Bootstrap, and for that we have our uh, mix app.js. So we don't need the Bootstrap. We don't need the charts, and we don't need this. 
I save and come here and refresh here. Click, yeah, we have the drop down. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, this minified version here. So come and cop copy the JS SP admin as a row. Add, copy, come here and inside the JS, now resources public.js, create new file. minify.js and pass it here save and we need to add it here that one asset js and I think we are okay now Yeah, now I don't want this search here, also this, just want the name of the user here and the drop down to log out. Okay, come here and now open the the logout mod model. Maybe we don't need this one. Yeah, this is for the when we go down. Yeah, scroll to the top. Okay, but the logout model. I'm going to remove this, and here. This is the sidebar, and this is the navigation. We have the search form here, I remove this. Uh, so let's remove this one. Okay, and So we don't need all of this. I'm going to leave only the user information and here add the username. So out. User and the username here and in the drop down we need only the logout so remove all of that save come here and refresh and yeah we have only the drop down and logout and we don't need the image okay Save and refresh and yeah. Now look more nice. Here we are in the this is page heading, so dashboard, dashboard and generate report here. If we want to leave this, I'm not going to leave this. Okay. And uh, content row. I think 
here now we can add the div with a class of a row and add the yield of a content save and refresh yeah and here is the dashboard and logout and now we need to modify the now sidebar here okay this is a top bar and this is container fluid yeah so here we have the sidebar and in the sidebar we need to have on the sidebar should be displayed as vertical menu the dashboard employee management and so on so the dashboard and we have the dashboard we don't need this Okay, we have the also so here we have the dashboard. I'm going to remove the interface here, save and refresh, and yeah, we have the dashboard. Other things we have, we need to add the employee management. System management with a drop down. So, this is with a drop down. I'm going to copy this one. All of this. And add it here. And now, for that, we need to add the employee management. Okay. refresh and now we have the employee management but uh, I don't want this to be active and maybe not the icon yeah so this is the employee management and we need to add the system management with a sub con uh, with sub menu. So here we add the system management with a sub menu for the countries. Our country, country, a card, no card, uh, state, copy this and paste in, city, and uh, department. Save and come here refresh yeah we have the system management and we have a country state department and city we have the user management and i'm going to just uh, copy this one pass it here and the user management and then we have user and role permission 
ओके And we have this uh, collapse show here, just change this to the system, maybe system, then save, refresh, yeah. And change this to the user. Okay. Refresh again, and yeah, we have a user and uh, and on the header interface display the name. Yeah, after authentication. The user should be redirected to a blank dashboard. Okay. I want to remove this. And Save, come here and refresh, and we are, I think we are good. We have a user, system, employee, and dashboard, employee system, employee management, system management, user management, and that's it. Okay, my friends, this is for this video. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. Thank you very much. All the best.